Good morning students. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? I hope that you all are fine and safe and sound at your homes. May Allah bless you with great health. Ameen. Class 3, I am Maria Tayyab, your Islamia teacher. And today, we are going to revise the beautiful supplications on textbook page number 8 as you can watch on your screen. So, you people are supposed to open up your textbook page number 8. Okay? And the learning objective for today is that you will be able to recite the supplication with translation for before entering the num uh, number 1 for before entering the washroom and number 2 about coming out of the washroom. So it means you are supposed to you are going to learn about uh, about the, uh, you are going to learn the recitation and translation of these two uh, given supplications. Got it? Now hurry up, open up your textbook page number eight. Before uh, starting the recitation, I will must uh, want to tell you that as you know that supplications means dua. So, people, you all should learn uh, such supplications in your daily routine life. And not only you should learn, as well as you should be habitual. We all should be habitual to recite such supplications in our daily routine life. Just to ask for Allah's help, as well as it, these, in, uh, these supplications and these obviously in this way we ask for Allah's blessings and Allah will keep us safe from evil powers of Satan, inshallah. So let's start the recitation of supplication number one. That is uh, for before entering that this supplication we must recite before entering the washroom. Okay, so start reciting with me. Say, A'uzu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma inni a'uzu bika. Minil khubusi wal khabais. Once again, recite with me to just make your uh, pronunciation more clear. Allahumma inni a'uzu bika Min al-khubusi wal khabais Now translation O Allah, I seek refuge in you from the male, female, evil and jinns I am going to repeat the translation O oh Allah, I seek refuge in you from the male, female, evil and jinns. Now, I am going to give a short detail about this supplication. We must recite the given supplication before entering the washroom in order to get refuge in Allah from the evil of male, or female jinns. So, students, I think you are clear now. Why should we recite this application? We must recite the given supplication before entering the washroom in order to get refuge in Allah from the evil of male or female jinns. And do you know something? While entering the washroom, we must step on our left foot first and while coming out of the washroom we must step on our right foot first it means while coming while entering the washroom we always uh, obviously we are going to uh, unclean place and that is not pure place so uh, we must step on our left foot uh, first while entering the washroom but it is vice versa for coming out of the washroom as we have to step on our right foot first while coming out of the washroom. Is it interesting for you? I think it is. 
you must uh, keep these things in your mind uh, from today and you have to follow these instructions and you must recite must recite this application before entering the washroom and after coming out of the washroom now let's move on this is supplication number 2 and you must recite it when you are coming out of the washroom it means you all are we all are supposed to recite this application after coming out of the washroom so start reciting with me اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي أذهب عن الأذاب عافاني. Repeat the recitation with me. الحمد لله الذي أذهب عن الأذاب عافاني. Students, this application is starting with the word Alhamdulillah, and do you know Alhamdulillah means all praise be to Allah. What is the meaning of Alhamdulillah? Alhamdulillah means all praise be to Allah. It means we the the all uh, praises in this universe are to be Allah, be to Allah. and uh, at the, this application is ending with waafani first of all i am going to uh, recite read its translation then I, then i will explain in detail all praise be to allah who removed the difficulty who removed excuse me i am going to read this uh, translation again all praise be to allah who removed the difficulty from me and gave me ease all praise be to allah who removed the difficulty from me and gave me ease means relief so afani means ease relief what is the meaning of afani that allah has given us allah gave us is relief now i am going to explain this application in detail we must recite the given application after coming out of the washroom in order to thank allah the almighty for his blessing that he has removed difficulty from us and gave us relief now i'm want to move back to this slide again because here i'm going to repeat the words meaning of the words through this translation that as we are uh, we have come out of the washroom now we have our need is done and allah has make us ease and relief gave us ease and relief so that's why uh, this in this application actually we are praising allah and we are going to thank allah because allah has removed the difficulty from us that it means our need is done we have uh, just coming we are just coming out of the washroom so now we are f- uh, feeling easy more relax as always you come out of the washroom you must uh, it obviously you must uh, feel more relax and more comfortable and if we uh, want to go to the washroom we always feel very uneasy and uncomfortable now as uh, you have come out of the washroom your need is done so that's why in this situation we are going to praise allah and uh, by praising allah we are going to thank allah and uh, for his uh, for this uh, blessing that he has uh, he has removed this difficulty from us and he has gave as relief so that's why i'm going to repeat this translation to make it more clear to you we must recite the given supplication after coming out of the washroom in order to thank allah the almighty 
for his blessing that he has removed difficulty from us and gave us relief now now i hope that it is more clear to you that why we should we must recite this application after coming out of the washroom and we should uh, i uh, i would also like to uh, say over here that we should try to learn and recite sub such supplications to ask for allah's help and in order to please allah why should we recite such applications to ask for allah's help and in order to please allah if allah the almighty will be pleased with us obviously he he will always help us in trouble and will reward us and as i have told you earlier that obviously allah will keep us safe and sound from the evil powers of satan so now i think it's more clear to you now why should we recite and learn these supplications by heart and these supplications or dua must be not only these uh, all other simple supplications we must learn by heart and we must uh, be habitual to recite these supplications such supplications in our daily routine life in this way obviously uh, prayer is a five times uh, worship to just to uh, ask for allah's help and just to remember allah that is compulsory prayer, prayer obligatory prayer these applications to recite these applications is not compulsory and obligatory uh, worship but we in this way we again and again in the whole day we will remember allah and obviously we will call allah for his help and allah will be pleased with us and obviously he will reward us for that and he will uh, keep us safe and he must help us in any kind of trouble what my point now now let's move on now students at the end i have planned some preliminary questions for you but i want to make it clear uh, first of all that all these questions are just verbal questions it means you are supposed to answer these questions orally okay no need to write these questions in your islamiyat notebook as it is not your written work these are just all oral preliminary questions did you get my point good now i'm going to ask question number 1 that is why should we recite this supplication before the, such supplications uh, before entering the washroom it means here i am asking about the supplication which we recite before entering the washroom okay the question is why should we recite the supplication before entering the washroom yes as uh, listen to my answer attentively as the supplication number 1 is allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-khubusi wal khabais o oh allah uh, protect us from the male female evil or jinns it means before as a uh, washroom is the impure place and satan or jinns or male or female impure jinns not pure impure jinns and uh, they always like to uh stay on the impure places where we can't offer the prayer where we can't recite uh, the holy quran so that's why as washroom is the impure place so that's why it is uh, the, the 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 impure jinns male or female jinns or the impure powers evil powers had more chances to stay in the in such kind of places so that's why before entering the washroom if we will recite such application then allah inshallah will keep us safe and sound from the evil powers of male or female jinns or any kind of evil power did you get my point now question number 2 is what is the meaning of al khubusi and wal khabais in the supplication number 1 yes students i think you know that al khubusi wal khabais what is the meaning of these words in supplication number 1 as it is ending supplication number 1 is ending with these two words min al khubusi wal khabais so it means here al khubusi and al khabais means the male female impure jinns male female khubusi means impure male jinns al khubusi means impure male jinns wal khabais means sorry 
Bulk of ice means and impure female genes. Did you get my point? Let's move on now. Now it's question number three. What is the meaning of Alhamdulillah? And what does the word Afani means in the supplication number two? Yes, while reciting supplication number two, I have repeated these words with their English meanings. So uh, if you have listened to my uh, translation clearly, then it, you must know the answer of this question, I hope. I have told uh, during the recitation that Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah means all praises be to Allah. What is the meaning of Alhamdulillah? Say with me. All praises be to Allah. Yes. Alhamdulillah means all praises be to Allah. And what does the word uh, Afani means? Afani means, yes students, Afani means <coughs> for this uh, meaning I must move back to the success application number uh, 2 as I have told you that this application is ending with Afani here Afani means give us relief ease ok in Arabic Afiyat Afani means uh, ease or relief as Allah has gave us ease and relief, so Afani means ease or relief. Did you get my point? I hope that you have listened the uh, lesson very attentively. And I'm sure that you must learn this, these both of the supplications by heart. And you must recite, be habitual to recite these two supplications before entering the washroom and after coming out of the washroom. And students, don't forget to follow my instructions that which step we should step on first while entering the washroom and which step which foot we will put on first uh, while coming out of the washroom okay don't forget such instructions and uh, as i always say as i always give instructions to follow the sops obviously <clears throat> to recover in uh, such a, a pandemic situation we have to be uh, we need no not to be panic we must uh, follow the SOPs, must wash your hands again and again and try to wash your hands properly for at least 66 seconds and uh, don't forget to sanitize your hands uh, if you have just uh, if you are just coming out of the house and don't forget to wear the mask and keep the social distance and take care of most important of all take care of your health this is the most important thing if your immune system will be more stronger obviously you will be more stronger and you have enough energy to fight with the disease so anyhow have a good day Allah Hafiz